Hey guys, happy splasher here. Uh, it is 5 12 2021. We're going to be doing the new divine arena and we'll take it from there. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> right, we have a son of woods over here and then we have a knight of the north over here and silence, light innovating. All right. So. See what we got. Uh, we got some okay units. We have some okay removal. We have damage to all of our units and then to spearmen. I believe these are melee units with block. And then there's also plus attack to order for one turn. Buildings, we have damage to their units and then also spikes. That's good. We will start with doing a behind this building here and actually we want to spread it out so that that, uh, that this this building isn't damaged it's going to give us some advantage over time and also we have this unit here so deal some damage when we melee unit okay. they summon this unit that has evasion and block we're going to be able to kill it in combat using this unit it's a health boost whenever it kills the unit. So I have this unit here that damage. Whenever the other unit line is stacked. So a uh, pretty good opening over here. We have some options for later. There, this unit has flying. It also has poison. I'm going to get rid of this poison here. I have some in this unit. But at the end of the turn, it removes the negative effects. In this case, it's poison. And just continuing on to build advantage from there. All right. Uh, so we do have this unit here that has evasion, so it's going to stop our ability to attack. We want to take that now, so we'll put on the spikes and then we'll silence it. So that way now the evasion is not a problem. And we will continue on by. Uh, these lines open so that spikes can still affect their units. And then if they do opt to do damage, we won't deal as much because we have uh, high HP over here. Okay, uh, so we do have this unit that deals damage to our random units except order. Also gets mental shield and has flight as well. We're going to go for a flight like that. Silence that and attack it some more, and then damage turn. We'll kill that unit. Pretty good. We wanted to save this uh, this unit here, which silences their units later on. We need to do it right now. Uh, they have this unit that has flight, also gives them attack boost, and then also gives them a block. So a little bit more of a stall. Wait it out. Uh, we have this unit that has another summon whenever it attacks, and then we'll also silence the unit as well. So, like I said, just building up the board. We're in pretty good shape right now. Just uh, coming up with answers to the. So, this unit was silenced because it killed that rabbit over there. Or it does have, doesn't have block, so this unit will die at the end for that damage. It's over here, summon with the gate. And uh, yeah, just waiting for more opportunities to attack the game. Not quite there yet. We'll need one more turn. We will put this melee unit in front over here. And damage dealt. And now we should be good for Lisa. Okay, they use their ability. Uh, we should also see them use their. So over here. 
like I said, block from the melee spot. And then attack boost over here. Looks like they'll be killing this row. But again, since we have so much of an advantage, no kill. Interesting, okay. Oh, they summon this unit that creates spawns whenever one of our units dies that aren't chaos and buildings. I'll be able to take care of it. Uh, we'll take care of it here. Dude, we don't want to kill this unit as well because this unit creates the spawns. So as long as we keep these spots locked up, we won't be able to do extra summons. At this point, they can do two summons. Again, not a big deal. Get rid of them later. Next turn, we're going to summon this unit if this unit dies to silence this entire row. Do that. So here, because I see that this gate is creating the spawns, but at this point, it didn't matter. Over there. I was focusing too much on the battle over here, but uh, like I said, had such such a board advantage that we don't have to worry about that so much. All right now, we're gonna do the night side. As you can see we have our buildings over here. Deal the damage, spikes. Uh, they themselves have the spikes, and then also silence. So we want to focus on units that will not be affected so much by silence. So we're going to hold off on this until they do their silence. And then we're going to use our... Also going to hold off on this as well. We're going to just give ourselves a block. Let's see here. So... Fine. Go over here, actually. And start by giving ourselves block. We have a flight unit. And then also we will get attack boost. Our warlord is attacked. Start from there. All right. Summon this unit that has the gate, um, the little tent in front of themselves, and then also has silence. We're going to continue on by here. And this unit will die by the building. And then also, whenever one of our units dies, we'll actually get over here. And this unit also has evasion, so unless they have some sort of double attack set. Ahead. Going to summon we'll summon this melee unit over here in terms of stats. Uh waiting for the silence to come so then we can then summon our unit. Yeah. We have this unit that when it's summoned, it summons this gate, which then creates this zombie in front. Also, whenever it gets attacked, it will summon a witch row itself. Waiting for it to now we're waiting for the spikes to clear out first, and then the silence, and then we'll start summoning our larger unit. Okay. We'll summon this unit. And to attack this unit over here, let's see. Yeah, we can wait. That does a little bit of poison. Okay. And then, depending upon what unit comes out next, then we will do our damage and then do our summons. As we trigger the silence now, we can now start to use our better units. So we'll be summoning this unit. To some advantage, but as they have all chaos, it's not going to matter so much. Oh, let's see here. Spikes will kill this. We'll die to poison. We just need something. Okay. Uh, we'll summon our here, doing some damage. Okay. As you see, damage over there. And this unit from attacking. And then also Mental Shield will come out and play for us.
So we'll do this on here to the damage on that unit and we're going to summon this unit with the extra attack. Yeah, summon this unit over there with the extra attack to kill this unit. And then it also has a stat boost. The other units around there, so it has well, it has evasion from the get go, and then also has block. Uh, we're going to continue focusing on summoning order units so that we won't be affected by the damage uh, as they summon this unit that has the silence and the gates. Summon this unit with a region. That unit also it gives a, an attack boost to women units at the end. So we're going to stat up over here. We're going to have to find a way to kill this behind the building. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, much silence. On this unit, one affected. Kill. Uh, this isn't bad. We'll summon this unit again as the ability to deal damage whenever one of our units dies. The line over here. We're going to kill this unit. And then uh, gates aren't as important right now because we're not, we're not creating the extra spawns when we're attacking. And these zombies aren't as strong. So as long as we can create advantage with this unit, good. So summon this unit that was the poison to their ranged units. We're just focusing on these two units right now. This unit will eventually die. And actually, even then, it's blocked by the, the flight over here. Kind of a messy battle. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll summon this unit, same over here, trying to get some damage over to the units. Uh, let's see. A lot of battle triggers went off. Uh, we're in pretty good shape right now. These gates aren't really doing anything, and it's just this unit that is the true attacker. Next turn, we can use our summons, combo off with these over here. All right, that's good. All right, now we'll use our summons. Uh, damage isn't really necessary. And we'll also... Once again, to create uh, attack boost for our male, our, our female units. And then now we have lethal for next turn. As both of these lanes are now open. Lethal. I, I kept on forgetting that this unit also has the ability to give plus health to our melee enemies. Uh, melee units once a melee unit attack. So these zombies that are actually in the front, they're actually giving us a boost. Not really a factor at this point, just pointing out for future videos. We need to summon something here because when this unit, when this building gets attacked, it'll take the uh, ranged unit here. And we have, oh, is that a factor in there? Yeah, that was Divine Arena in a nutshell. You can see that there were a couple of different approaches for both of them. Uh, as you have, if you're on the order side, you'll be able to do a lot with the flying units and the evasion. And then if you're on the nature side over here, using the silence in order to get rid of uh, bad units and then attack.
Um, yeah, so if there are any questions, comments, feedbacks, or concerns, check out the Twitch channel. You can also leave a message there. I'm on Discord and YouTube as well. Uh, check out some of the past videos on the YouTube. And uh, yeah, we've been covering some future events that are going on. We have Dark Tower. Wish Shop is going on on Friday, and we'll take it from there. Otherwise, yeah, this is Happy Splasher, signing off.